please marmonar. I'm still in this mixing corner here. Um, I'm really excited because today I'm gonna work with some of the new TLPs and a lot of them, if you watched my TLP release video where I showed all of them, there's 13 new ones, um, are a very turquoisey, greeny vibe. So today I'm mixing up eight different greens and turquoises and going to probably make my own. I don't know which piggy I'm gonna use for sure. I'm using my mint chip, my signature color, um, which we love and which is definite in my green turquoise theme. Another one we might throw in, I don't know, is um, Billabong, which is more of a turquoise, okay? By the way, we can keep going here. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I love this black forest green. It's like totally like a shadow green vibe, you know? Sneakers. He's crying. Um, right? Okay. And also this is their turquoise um, neon called, still learning. this one, um, their turquoise neon. I'll figure it out soon. Psych, psych. Um, it did dry a little darker. It looks green. It's not this green. I don't know why this light's making it green. It's not green, but it definitely dried darker. Not a good representation from what I see. We also have, although this is moving away from the turquoises, turquoise-y, um, Atlantic Storm, which is pretty, but I'm not sure. It could go with the vibe but maybe not this current vibe. Let's talk about, by the way, hold on. This is not in this video, but blew me away, Persephone. I think that should be the next video, but definite not in this one, but she's so exciting, isn't she? Okay, meanwhile, while we're at it, look at Axolotl. Uh, can you see the shift? No, you can only see it in the, so there's a crazy blue shift which you can't see, <clears throat> excuse me, in this light, but trust me. Okay, let's talk about the two pieces I have and I'm gonna make my own, okay? So obviously we have a good old, let's start with the Hobines. Shadow green and cypress green are my favorite Hobine colors, okay? Um, I wonder, I don't know if I'm gonna use this schmanky aquamarine, like it looks pretty similar to other ones and I might get confused, I don't know. We have Payne's Gray and Golden, which will be a dark blue. Now I have Thalo Green Blue Shade. Uh, I might doctor it up a bit, but you know we love the Thalos. And um, Thalo Turquoise, I'm gonna use an Atelier Thalo Turquoise. No reason, just cause usually I use Golden, but I couldn't find it. And then I have some um, Holcroft, which you could only get in Australia. I have Pool Party and Coastal Turquoise which is probably similar to other turquoises, but whatever. And I have my mixing white, zinc white, because we'll probably lighten some stuff up. Um, I still don't know which, Ugh, look at these three together. I feel like, the problem is, because I want to showcase them, so I don't want to use them all together in one, but hello, maybe we will, right? Because this is just like epic perfection. I was so excited. That's what, Ooh. Okay, I'll use them like one-on-one, -on -one, but also like all three together. Okay, uh, let's quickly mix up some tubies. Okay, so I have my colors here. What I'm going to do is take my bear, 8300. Since I'm doing all tubes and they're all basically fluid, I don't have to change oops, my um, thing that much. So I am gonna fill my cup with the bear. And just to make my life easier, I am gonna squeeze in some Josanya. Uh, bloop. I'm not gonna make it um, like the perfect consistency, but at least just to be able to pour it out of the cup. Let's see how I did. It'll still be a little thick. Although I guess I could just, you know. The problem is some of these, as you know, you have to mix it differently for two paints 
different brands, different consistencies. These are fluid, so they'll be thinner than, you know, two paints. I also realized I don't have any, I think it looks get a light turquoise. Maybe I'll go grab that too. But this is still too thick for a lot of them. I might as well just continue what I'm doing here. Remember, you're eyeballing everything. There's no exact measurement, although I did do a very specific measurement video where I did measure my bloops and it was pretty accurate, but you have to go with your eye. But you can check out that exact measurement video if you insist. I also have a consistency video how to eyeball, so I have videos for all kinds of people. I can see why exact measurements while you're learning can be extremely helpful. Okay, I'll have to do a little bit more on this one, but let's start with these. Um, we'll definitely need a little bloop, 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 bloop. Might as well go in there, bloop. And we might as well go like this, straight from the can, in we go. Bloop, and another little Bloop, there we go. See, science. Okay, let's start with Pool Party. This is a classic Holcroft color. I'm sorry, North Americans and Europeans. I just have good connections. <laughs> Pretty color, definitely can be my turquoise. Um, so this will be the only opaque color. Oh no, coastal turquoise is opaque as well. So you'll see it thickens it up instantly. Opaque colors thicken up. Um, this is a, like just, a, this is fine actually. One, two, I mean, if I wanna be precise, I'll just go like that. Okay, pool party, fun color. Yes, indeed. Shadow green, we know she's gonna be pretty. We love her. Now, I don't know if I'm using all of these all in one thing, but it definitely will give me a uh, different things to play with. Okay. Not too bad. A little bloopy here. All right, then we'll go to phthalo green. Phthalo green sometimes a little too intense for me, so I might play around with her a bit. Uh, oh, we have a little bloopy. One moment, please. Nope. 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 Oh gosh, we have all my little friends that fell. One moment. Okay, I was. I'm going to clean out this yucky situation here. There we go. Okay. Now let's throw her in. Bloop. It's not too intense, but it's intense enough. You know. Let's see what she looks like. Yeah, it's like a little, a little much. So we'll fix her in a minute. Cypress green, love her. I'm interested to see these colors compared to the ones I'm about to mix because a few of them are quite similar. So we can also play around with them as well. This does look opaque to me. I'm gonna check, yeah, see how it thickened up? You can kind of tell, like, opaque paints look like there's white added to them to lighten them up. And they do tend to thicken up when you add them to your pouring medium. Oh, 
quite thicky, eh? All right. Now let's go to Coastal Turquoise, which looks kind of similar. Let's see. We can compare. So far, pretty same, same. A little, it's a little bluer, a little lighter, I will say. Um, a little less yellow. So this cypress green that I just mixed is more yellow. This is more of a, of a cool blue. If I had to compare them, I don't know if you guys can see. So it's a very slight. So in your pour, it wouldn't really matter, but looking side by side, you can see this is more blue and white, and this has a yellower, greener tint to it, if you wanted to know. Okay, let's do phthalo turk. Oh, is, oh no, is she dried out? Come on, come on, you can do it. Let's see, she might be dried out. I might have to get a different one. I happen to have a new bottle, and, but I thought maybe I could fix her. No, okay, I'm gonna grab another phthalo turquoise, but meanwhile, let's try the aqua marine schminky. another similar turquoise. So let's see how she compares. It's funny, I love Cypress Green in general, but now comparing it as like, oh, I don't like yellowish greens, but I never would have known that, you know? So this is another similar. Let's compare it to Coastal Turquoise. So, in looking at it, it's darker than Coastal Turquoise, but still less yellow than Cypress Green. So, I, I mean, hmm, I like it too. I think out of the three, the yellow throws me off a bit of the Cypress Green. And again, you would never know. Um, I would never know you know, but if I had to choose one. All right, now let's do Payne's Gray and then I'll go get um, Thalo Turquoise. So remember, Golden Payne's Gray is more of a blue, whereas Amsterdam Payne's Gray is more of a gray. So for a dark blue, it's nice to get the golden version, if that's what you're into. Yeah, see these? So this still is more yellow than the coastal. So if I were using blues together, I would much rather use these two together because they're cool tone rather than these two together, which to be honest, don't look bad, but I hope you can see this is a cool blue and because of that yellow, it has a warm tint to it. Uh, let's get the phthalo turquoise. Hold on. And then we'll see what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. I just saw a full phthalo turquoise somewhere. Um, okay, you know what? I have tri art phthalo turquoise because I can't find the other phthalo atelier that I just saw. But Triart makes a lovely phthalo turquoise. Triart phthalo turquoise. Well, let's give her a go. Let's hope she's not dried out too. Good. Yeah, nice. Okay. I use a lot of phthalo turquoise <laughs> in my pores. One day I should do a video like comparing all the phthalo turquoise across the brands, but this looks pretty similar. To the golden one. Let us thin her out and then we'll discuss. Obviously, 
should I do an interference color? Like, that's the thing, like, what am I doing? Oh, I was gonna lighten one up too. Okay, but here basically are the colors. What have we got? Um, I definitely wanna mix a mint green, so that's maybe what I'll do with this um, to paint to go with these guys. Obviously, these are all very similar, right? So I wouldn't need all of them. So I think today I'm definitely gonna put away, but maybe I'll like add some white to it and see what happens. I was gonna put the cypress green away, but let's see what happens when we add some white to them, right? So I'm gonna take two more cups. Okay. And I'm going to, hope you guys can see, I'm gonna put some phthalo green right in here for fun. We're gonna darken it and lighten it, okay? Uh, I'll see what I'm gonna darken with, I don't know yet. And then I'll put some cypress green in here. So, when I put more, right? Uh, so let's have some fun. I'm gonna take my zinc white. The reason I use zinc is because it's transparent. It's a mixing white, it's not opaque. Bloop. I'll probably need a lot because I really want to lighten it up, but let's see. Bloop. If I really want it minty, right? So, how did we do? Now, normally, see, it's very, still very, mm, mm, I want it a little lighter. This is where you get to kind of have fun and play with tone and see what you like. Um, it's a pretty color, right? So like I compare it to Pool Party, which is this light turquoise. You can see it's like the same hue, but more of a green. So let's leave her for now and let's do see what happens with the Cypress Green, see if we like her. Oh, she lightened up. Did I put too much in here? No, it's a nice color anyways. Okay, this is just a very, and it's funny, the zinc knocked out the warmth. So now, for instance, compared to this, this is more yellow, pool party is more yellow than this, um, which I don't mind this color at all either, actually. Uh, really pretty. So, Basically what I have is, well, let me see if it's opaque. Uh, I think it is opaque, but where does this person say? I don't have my glasses. Anyways, let's assume it's opaque. Um, I was gonna say if it was transparent, then I have a light color that's transparent, but I can't tell you that yet. But I actually like these lighter colors that I mixed. Now, Let's go deeper with this. Now what normally to darken a color, I would add bone black because that is also transparent. Um, so I can definitely do that, but why not for fun? Um, add a little Payne's gray. I don't know, see what will happen, right? If I don't like it, I'll add bone black. But sometimes I phone find bone black a little like ashy when it stretches out. So let's see. So remember, this is phthalo green. Oh, that's a nice, oh, I think I just made an amazing color. Phthalo green, because it is very phthalo bluish and with um, Payne's gray. I think this is, I just found like my favorite color because let's compare her to let's say shadow green. Okay, so this is a winter color. This is my signature color because I want to make um, tons of it and I've never made it before and I love her. It's like my perfect like deep turquoise. So it's different than this phthalo turquoise. How is it different? There is a bit more green to it. So it's a bit warmer, um, which I kind of like. Okay, so now that we've done the mixing, let's talk about um, what we're doing. 
Okay, so if I'm doing mint chip, okay, <clears throat> I'm still gonna, I'm probably gonna have to add more things, but mint chip, let me put away, so we're less confused. I'm gonna put away um, this coastal turquoise, okay, to start. So we can have like a clean slate and figure out what we're doing. So coastal turquoise is gone. Now, am I keeping, uh, which one of these two am I keeping? Schminky Aquamarine. Um, since we're going with this warmer tone, I will keep the Cypress Green. So funny, um, at first I wasn't sure about it, but now that I'm building this palette, I want the warmth to go with my other colors. So we're putting away Schminky. See, we're getting somewhere. Um, next, I definitely need to keep my shadow green and I think I'm gonna keep my signature color. And this is going to be too warm. with all of these colors. So I'm going to retire my phthalo green mixed with zinc white, okay? Next, sometimes it takes, you know, a bit of work to build your palette. Next, I'm gonna remove this Payne's Gray, it's a bit of an eyesore with what's happening here. Okay, how are we doing? So you see now we have two light colors. Are we going with the same color, just with white? Are we keeping these two together? Or are we going here? I'm gonna keep these two together because this is too yellow for me, for what's going on. Right? Okay, we're getting somewhere. I hope you guys are not hating this. Okay, so this was pool party. Gone. All right, let's see what we have left. Okay, I'm liking, right, <laughs> what I'm seeing. Okay, we have Triart Thalo Turquoise, Holbein Shadow Green. We have my signature color of um, phthalo green mixed with a bit of Payne's gray. Here we have cypress green and here we have the cypress green mixed with white. Now, just so you know, my three, these three guys, my original, this would be a killer combo. And I think that's what we need to do, right? Like, I will hope you guys can see what's happening here, which is perfection. Look, perfect, how would I do it? <laughs> like, you know, perfection, just trust me. Okay, now, obviously I think I will, you know what, I, the interference I wanna mix up is shimmer, because it goes from a green to a turquoise. The problem is, it's gonna be so beautiful that you're not really gonna be able to differentiate the colors. And I do like to show each color um, in a pour, and I really like it to stand out, but this is just too perfect to do. Um, let me go get shimmer and I'll show you what I mean. Because, hopefully I can find it at this point, right? Um, oh, glisten. Or is it Glisten that I want? I'll tell you in a minute. Or is it Macaw? Actually, Macaw would be really good. Okay, let me just, let's discuss. So I have three interferences that will go really well. You won't be able to see them now. But Macaw's really fun. Um, let's just look, start with, uh, which one's this? Glisten. There's one with a beautiful turquoise that we need in our lives. Um, and then you say to yourself, how do you find out what is what? I will tell you. 
I just so happen to have uh, brand new black mixing sticks from Food Art Company for this very purpose. Well, they're great mixing sticks, but sometimes it's hard to tell. So as I said, this was Glisten. Okay, so I see purple, but you guys can't see. Purple, beautiful turquoise. I don't know, oh, I love that turquoise. So we, I don't really need that purple in my life with this. So it's not a Glisten. Let's do a shimmer. Although it's really nice. So it has the same purple as one of my other favorite ones, Twinkle. But we don't need that today. Shimmer. I think. Although Macaw does have that. Oh, I think this is a new guy. Look at that. Okay. Let's try. Oh, okay. This is full green. Okay. It's like a goldish green, which would go nice. And the turquoise. And we'll do one more. So it's maybe this, but so Macaw has all three, like turquoise, green, gold. But I just want to make sure that we do it justice here. Okay. So we have, yep, turquoise, gold, green. Mm. Do it. I want that really intense turquoise. I think we're going to go glisten shimmer <laughs> see i confused the two but we're going shimmer because that has the most of the turquoise that i can see so really quickly i'm gonna get my little cuppy thanks for sticking in this is just how we got to how we got to plan our our pours if you know there we go oh we're done this bottle perfect okay and I'll get my little stick. I will get my shimmer. Yep. And we will put her in. And this is gonna be gorgeous. Okay. So now after all this work, we will do a swatch. And you guys will tell me what you think and then you have to stay tuned for next video for when I actually do this, because this took more time than I expected. I just got so excited. Okay, hold on, there we go. Okay, we'll do a swatchy watch. And then you'll say, oh my God, or oh, add this, or you know, and then you can tell me what to do for the next video. Gorge. So now, we will open up because I mixed these piggies the other day. Do you know what also I didn't add, which would look really pretty? Oh God, you guys are gonna kill me. But one more that would look pretty is um, abalone. Hold on. <laughs> Should I do it now? Anyways, just so you know, it looks pretty. Okay, let's open them up. Here is Billabong. That's abalone. Here is mint chip. And here is Black Forest. Now, that's not Black Forest, that's Storm. Pretty though. Where is, oh, they're very hard to tell when they're not mixed up, but isn't that pretty? Storm could go in here. It is a bit like kind of cool and gray, but not today, Storm. Um. I believe, no, let me look at the bottoms here. Sometimes you have to, because the, the uh, pigment settles. This one is Black Forest. Gorgeousness. Is it? No. 
<laughs> this one is, uh, okay, I lied to you, sorry. The one I just mixed is Wild Atlantic. I'm still learning, please be kind. This one, gray, is Storm. I thought this one was Storm, but this could be, I should, um, no. Oh, maybe this is Black Forest. Sorry, guys. See, they look kind of similar. Okay, so the Storm is the silvery gray. I thought Black Forest was more green, but I just have to mix it up a bit. I apologize. There we go. Okay, this is how it dries, by the way. So you can see why I got confused. Pretty. Okay, so here we go. This is the color combo. Let us put it to the test. This is a lot of paint, so whatever. I might omit like when we do the actual thing, but let's see how it goes. Now, we always talk about layering. How would I layer? It doesn't really matter like when we're doing this, but um, normally I would start with a pigment. So let's start with mint chip. Okay. And then uh, I would do, let's say this custom, right? So pretty. Okay. Then I would do, sorry, I'm not showing you, um, Billabong. Already we're in love, just so you know. Okay. Then I would do, um, this one, you know, you know what it is, shadow green, right? Then I would do shimmer. Okay. Then, yeah, we have too many tubies for sure. Um, then I would do, and I guess if I'm doing a white cell activator on this, so I'm going to omit, um, I'm going to omit the regular cypress green and I'm going to put in the cypress green where I added the zinc white. Okay. Then we will do black forest. And then we will top off with the phthalo turquoise. Wow. Now this is a green and blue lover's dream. What do we think? So. Hmm. Again, it's also hard to tell because it's not going to look this blocked out, right? So I'm just looking for tones. Um, I'm wondering if the shadow green is like too dark. Um, I do love to have a dark color in the middle cause it really gives it some, you know, some depth to it. Maybe I'll leave it. So let's try it like this. I'm going to show you in the light so you can see the sparkle and tell me what do you think of this color combo? Uh, stay tuned for next video. I will be pouring with them and seeing if it's better to do all of these or to do a more simplified version. Uh, you never know. Thanks for sticking with me. I love you guys, bye. So here we are in the warm light. Um, yeah. I actually like what I'm seeing more. The only thing that might be throwing me off is, um, the Payne's gray on top. If you can see, it's like a, just a different tone than everything else. But, you know, if I just put a little bit under this activator, it would just give everything definition and you wouldn't see it that much. But I'm, I'm pretty happy. Okay, stay tuned next time. Bye.